Hello friends, welcome once again to First Class Solutions. Today we'll be looking at economics and we'll be providing solutions to problems emanating from marginal propensity to consume. What is marginal propensity to consume? This actually is the proportion of an individual's extra income that is actually spent on consumption rather than being saved. In other words, it implies the individual's additional income that is actually spent on consumption of goods and services rather than being saved for what? For future consumption. This implies further that marginal propensity to consume is actually derived from an individual's consumption function. So looking at this question, we have our consumption function to be 1,200 plus 0 0.8 YD. Our YD here is our disposable income, our disposable income, and they give us our tax to be 100. That asks us to find our marginal propensity to consume. Remember also that our disposable income is actually calculated as income minus income tax. That is this tax mean given to us here as 100. Our income minus the tax will give us what, what we will dispose as our disposable income. This practically implies that once they deduct your income tax from your income, what is left for you is actually meant for you to keep. So let's go forward to find our NPC. In this case, our consumption function given us 1,200 plus 0 0.8. Remember, we have our YD to be Y minus T. We simply have here Y minus T. And remember, our T was given us what? As 100. So we have our C being equal to 1,200 plus 0 0.8 into y minus t is what t is 100 we have 100 here we'll go further to expand this bracket c equals to 1 200 plus 0 0.8 times y we have 0 0.8 y minus 0 0.8 times 100 we have 80 so we'll go further we'll collect like terms 1200 minus 80 we have c equals to 1200 minus 80 will give us 1000 120 plus 0 0.8 y so in this case we already have our consumption function being a function of y and mathematically our mpc our mpc is giving us change in consumption over change in income that is the cdy meaning that we have the change in consumption over the change in income as our what as our mpc so in calculating the mpc we simply do the CDY that is changing consumption over changing income as when you differentiate this, you have zero plus differentiation 0.8Y, you simply have 0.8. So, so our CDY, which is MPC, is actually 0.8, and this is our answer. Thank you very much for watching to this point. Do wait to share this video to your friends, and as well, follow us on our social media platforms as you do. Remain blessed. God bless you.